Nigel has news. Yes, I did. Uh, thank you, Mr. Tony. Um, you talk about the, the Nationals not making the playoffs since 1933. I just want to give you no, some... No, we weren't. When, when, when did we talk about that? I think Jeannie mentioned that. Jeannie uh, mentioned maybe off I just want to give you some historic uh, numbers. From yeah. 1933, the cost of a gallon of gas, 10 cents. Yeah. A vacuum cleaner, 17.75. Loaf of bread, which I knew you'd be interested in. Diam. Oh, seven cents. Okay. It's wow. skyrocketed since then. Not not compared to vacuum Should cleaners. Should have bought those yeah. bread pa- futures. Pound of hamburger meat, just 11 cents. So you pretty much bread or do meat. Do you know how much? Do you know how much? Let's just stop with these stupid prices because that's 80 years ago, and and we understand. Actually, 84. We understand how different the prices were then and now. Okay, so stop with that. Do you have any idea? Because you mentioned vacuum cleaners. Do you? Because I do have an idea about this. Do you have any idea how much a vacuum Take cover, cleaner costs now? Yeah. Do you have any idea how much a vacuum cleaner costs? I'm gonna I do. S- I'm going to say about uh, I'm about 120. dollars I'm going Stark. two bills. Okay. You're going, going two hundred. You're going yeah. two hundred. You're going 120. Well, it Jean? depends on the vacuum cleaner. Ah, good one, Mr. Tony. Vacuum. Are you buying a Mealy vacuum cleaner? Don't even. What's that? What is that? M I E H L E. It's who, one who of these spelled? like fancy. Is, is that a like German a brand? Yeah, if Swiss or German. Oh, or okay. If it's a t- yeah. if okay. Tony's buying it, you know it must really, really, well, that really could suck. Could be five or six hundred dollars. Okay. So let, let me let let me just set the record straight. Okay, because my my daughter Elizabeth needed a vacuum cleaner, and I said, uh, "Fine, yeah. fine, go get a vacuum go to cleaner." Sears, pick up a Hoover, forty nine ninety five. I sent her to no, I sent her to the Oric store because oh, I have in my life owned Oric vacuum cleaners. Well, they're good. Those are the bagless ones. No, that's the no, Dyson. no, 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 no. They're, Dyson's they're good. The they're light, but you you pay okay. for them. Okay. Okay. So I sent her, and one of the reasons I sent her is because I had been Center. in the Oric store. In Rehoboth Beach. I had been... So we're not doing the news now. Now we're doing this. <laughs> Good job, Nigel. Thank you. Poor I Nigel. had been to the Oryx store in Rehoboth Beach, and I was talking because I knew that eventually Elizabeth was going to have to buy a vacuum cleaner. She's got dogs, and you need a vacuum cleaner for dog hair or something like that. I knew she had one, and it wasn't very good. And I knew she was going to need a new one, and we'd had this conversation. So I went into the Oryx store. Increase the skids with the Oryx guy. And the guy said to me uh, that he remembered me because I'd been in the Oryx store before buying bags for an Oryx vacuum cleaner. And he said, you know, I'm going to give you a – because we have a discount program. Your daughter can have a discount on this because you are an Oryx vacuum cleaner owner. What? What? No, no, please. Go ahead. Go ahead. In- inject. Interject. Go ahead. No, no. You- no, no. What were you going to say? I, d- I just want to say what a privilege that you're an Oric vacuum owner. And I think that everybody, my sense of For this was- For $19.95 a month, you can be too. My sense of this was that everybody who owned an Oric who was going to get a new Oric was going to get a discount. That was my sense of it. I don't know if that's true. So I mentioned this to Elizabeth, and she had talked about getting a Dyson, and I had specifically asked the difference between- I, I, I understand this is the Oric guy. All right, but he was discussing the differences between Dyson and Oric and right. this, that, and the other thing and was very persuasive to me. Now, this was months ago. So Elizabeth says, I need a vacuum cleaner. And I said, you know, fine, go get a vacuum cleaner. In my head, and I, and, and I, because I had recently, prior to that, I had been in a Kmart and I had looked at vacuum cleaners at Kmart. And Kmart has a wide selection of a vacuum cleaner. You know, Mr. And Tony's world is... I was going to say, you're burying the lead yeah. here. <laughs> I've been to the Kmart this to buy, like, plants. The, Mr. Or, like, Tony, I know. Right. Well, out there, you know, you go to the Kmart. Okay, that's fine. So I'm out in the Kmart. I, I also I bought a boom box. Oh, yeah, yeah I bought one a of boom box. One cassette player or two? <laughs> one. So, so I... Um, Fuzzy slippers? So I knew, having walked down the aisle in the vacuum cleaner aisle, I, I saw there was a range... Of something like from a hundred to three hundred, right? That that's pretty much the range there. Right. So I didn't even ask about the Oric. You know, I figure you got to be competitive. It's between one hundred and three hundred. Maybe it's four. My do- I said to my daughter uh, a few days after she bought the vacuum cleaner because you know I said, "Did you buy a vacuum cleaner?" Yes. Well, what kind of vacuum cleaner did you buy? Oric. Um, Dyson. She said to me, "I was in the store and uh, and I bought this German brand." And I said, a, a uh, German uh, brand. I thought you were looking at Mealy? Dyson Mealy? Or, or Auric. He said, yeah, but I, I bought the German brand because I think it's going to be better for the dog hair. German brand. Okay. How much? $600. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, it, it, just, 
It just wow. seemed. Now I'm I'm fine with it. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm fine with it. Yeah. But it just in. seemed a lot more than I thought. So when you quote me these stupid prices from 1933 that a pound of hamburger was 11, I don't care about that. I, I no longer care about. It. I'm dealing with the here and now.